Welcome back everyone, my name is Evan Reddy and let's continue with the series on Django. Now in the earlier video we have talked about how can we include the HTML in the new HTML with the help of Django code of course, which is the extents, right? But then what I want to do now is I want to do some operation because till this point we have not done any operation, we are talking about dynamic content. So when I say operation, we will do one of the simplest operation possible which is addition of two numbers. I know we are talking about simple stuff, but then important is we have to understand the concept of Django, right? How everything works behind the scene, but not the actual code because that's something we can make it complex, right? So what I will do is I will just go back to my home.html and here, yes, we want to print hello Kiran or hello Naveen. Let's go back to Naveen so that we know, we'll remember what the name we are going for. So let me say Naveen. So I, what I do is I want to create a form using which I can add two numbers. So the moment you say you want to get a form, you can simply say form and you can say action. Now time will let me just keep it blank. And in this form tag, I want two text fields because I want to add two numbers, right? So let's say enter first number and here we'll say input type text and we can have a name to it. We can say num1. In fact, you can have any name, but let's stick to num1. And we'll say br so that it will come on new line. So let me just copy this code and say enter. And then uh, here, instead of saying first number, we want to have it as second number. And this one will become num2. And here we need a button. So I will say input type submit. And that's it. We got a form and when you click on submit, it will add two numbers. It's not that simple, right? Because this is a HTML code. How can you simply add those two values here? Let's imagine this works and when you're saying, hey, two plus three is five, but when you will print it. So what I will do is I will create one more page which will be used to print the result. So I will say result.html a simple page and in this html i also want to have this extended format so i will just copy this copy and paste in fact actually we should be saying that as code reuse right code reuse makes much more sense uh, and here we just want to have the end block and now we just want to print this result.html but will this work of course not right so what i will do is first of all i will mention hey whenever i click on submit i want to add these two numbers now it will search for that add.html or something like that so you have to go to views and this is where you have to map it now how will you map it so oh not here you have to go to url and you have to map it here so the map would be, so I will say path. Whenever someone calls for add, because see, if you don't do this, if you remove this thing and if I go back to browser, now since we, are, we have a form, you can see it will give you the form. And if I say five and six, it will, when you click on submit query, we got the error, we'll solve that. But look at the address bar. The URL which you are hitting here is add. So we need to handle this. And that's where we have to add a path for the add. And then we'll say views dot. We have to say add or we can have any method name or function name. And here we'll say name and time being let's keep the same name as add. But unfortunately, you can see we got error here. We got, we are missing comma. You can see we got error. So we, it's, it simply says if you go to views, we don't have any function named as add. So we'll say def add. It will, of course, it will also accept the request. And here we have to say return render. Oh, we have not created the page yet, but let's do that. So I will say request and the page I want to create is, oh, we have a page result.html, right? Uh, if, if I go back to result.html, I'm not printing anything here. So let me just print result. Now let's see if that is getting called. Refresh. Okay, it's still loading. Something went wrong. I guess we got some invites in tax here. So there's a problem with the path. Maybe I have to restart this server, is it? Okay, refresh. And you can see if I click on submit, so we got the result, but not the actual value because we have not added those two values, right? So what is happening till this point is when you say URL, when you say add, you are getting add here. So formatting is working, it, it just went up. Ignore that formatting as of now. So when you say add, it is calling this add, so in this ad, what we are saying is, hey, call result.html. But we, we also want to add those two numbers, right? So how will you do that? So to achieve that, we just have to go back to our views. And here, we have to perform operation. This is a Python code, right? So you can, you can perform the operations here. Uh, so let's go back. And now we'll simply say, so we have to first fetch the values, right? We have two values. And those two values are five and six, of course, you can pass any value but that is that is getting stored in num1 and num2 to fetch that i will simply use a variable here we'll say value one equal to and to fetch the value we can simply say request 
dot. So this is the request object we are using. So finally, we are using that object. Of course, right, because as a client, when you send a request to the server, you're basically sending an object and that object will have some values. So the value which you are passing here, which is num1, num2, is in that particular object, right? And when server send you value back, it will be in a format of response. So we can simply say get. Now we can have multiple values. So I want to fetch the num1. And here we'll say value2. This will be for request dot get. And this is for num2. Now once you got those two values, I want the result. So we can say res equal to value1 plus value2. We just have to add them. And once you have added them, we, we want to send it to the result, right? And the way you can send it, you can simply give a comma here and you can use curly brackets. We have done this before, right? So I can say result colon res. So res is a variable in which you have a value, the output value, which I'm sending with a name result. So if I go back to result.html, this is where I want to print it. So I will say result colon. And if you remember, we can use this curly brackets for the name and I can say result. Done. It's that simple, right? It's, it's, it's all about that flow. So if I go back to my page and if I say refresh, click on submit and we got the answer. So when you add five plus six, you will get 56. That's weird. Okay, so what is happening is, if you go back to your view.py, you are adding these two values, right? But unfortunately, by default, the val1 and val2 are text or string because that's what you're getting from here. It will give you text by default. We have to inform, hey, we don't want text. We want that in an integer format. So we have to convert with the help of int function, both the side. So now it will be int because when you say string plus string, it will give you string. Right, so five and six, it will be getting concatenated. What we want to do here is we want to con we want to add them. So we want numerical values. Let's go back, refresh, submit. Oh, still it is getting the wrong value. So what is going wrong? Maybe I have to use a single quote here, but that should not be an issue. Let's go back, refresh. Oh, that was the issue. So you have to put that in single quote. So you can see we got the output as eight and our job is done right so that's how we can add these two values but then uh, we have one important concept here is of get and post because in this code we are actually working with get but what is get and how can we use post so we'll see that in the next video so i hope you enjoyed this video where we have added two numbers in fact just to give you a quick quick recap in the home html we got a form uh, we are asking for those two values the moment you click on submit the request will go to add. So the, in the URL mapping, it will check, okay, uh, if, you, if the request is for add, I have to call the add function. And inside this add function, we are simply accepting the request, fetching the values, adding those two values, and calling result.html with the value. In result.html, we are printing the value. That's it. That's how you can add two values. So I hope you got something from this video. Let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for further videos. Bye-bye.